Hello, I'm Senator Tammy Baldwin, and it's great to be here, albeit virtually, for this year's National Skills Coalition Summit. I'm happy to join all of you to discuss how we can work together to ensure our workers have the skills and knowledge they need to get good paying jobs and move our economy forward. We know in our 21st century economy, the ticket to a family supporting job often means more than a high school diploma. But we also know that a bachelor's degree is expensive and not the only path to secure a job. And right now, as investments from the bipartisan infrastructure law, the Chips and Science Act, and the Inflation Reduction Act begin to roll out, demand for highly skilled workers is only increasing. I've heard from many Wisconsin businesses who are struggling to find the skilled workers they need to maintain and grow their businesses. Businesses are often looking for workers who have specific skill sets that can often be only obtained through credential training. That's why it's critical that we invest in technical colleges, apprenticeships, work-based learning, and public-private partnership training that we need to ensure that workers have the skills they need for today and tomorrow. Skills training not only invests in our workers, but also enhances the productivity, efficiency, and competitiveness of our entire workforce. Working alongside all of you, I am proud to lead the Promoting Apprenticeships Through Regional Training Networks for Employers Required Skills, or Partners Act. <laughs> um, I'm leading this in Congress to invest in public-private partnerships, boost apprenticeship programs for workers, and help close the skills gap. This needed legislation would establish a grant program to support the expansion of industry partnerships to help small and medium-sized businesses develop work-based learning programs and provide mentoring and support service for workers. Critical industries that drive our economy, like healthcare, manufacturing, and tech industries, are rapidly changing and need workers that can perform their jobs efficiently and effectively, which is why earlier this year, I was proud to reintroduce the JOBS Act to allow students to use federal Pell Grants so that they can afford high-quality, shorter-term job training programs. Together, we can help more Americans find fulfilling careers and ensure that everyone has the chance to succeed, regardless of their background, level of education, or income. I'm proud to support the National Skills Coalition mission to expand access to high-quality skills training so that more people have access to a better life and a better future. Thank you.